What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today we got a 21700, a single 21700 device, a popular brand name. Aegis. It is the Aegis Max 21700 by Geek Vape. This is going to be as a kit. I'm pretty sure they'll sell just the mod. As a kit, comes with the Zeus sub ohm tank. So I'm wasting any time. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this. We'll come back. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Aegis Max. And here's the sample packaging the Aegis Max came in. And inside that kit, you get a Zeus sub ohm tank, a spare straight glass for the tank. You also get a bunch of extra O rings and a coil removing tool. You get an adapter, which is for an 18650 battery to use in the mod. They also, this was in the same bag with this. It's a coiling rod thingy. Not sure why this is included in the kit. Maybe just a bonus, not sure. But yeah, they included this. Also a micro USB charging cable, a spare coil for the tank. This one is a mesh coil. This is the uh, 0.4 and pre-installed will be the 0.2 mesh. The tank, I've already done a video for this. You guys could check it out, do a little search on YouTube. I'd have reviewed this. I'm not going to really go full into detail on this. This is more for the mod. So let's check out the Aegis Max. And here she is, folks, the Aegis Max. On top, platform, you can fit up to a 30 millimeter atomizer. Very nice. Fire button, up and down button. On the side here, you could see it right there. There's a little opening, which if you'd be able to stick your finger in there, pull that up, and there's your micro USB charge port if you need to charge it that way. I always recommend using an external charger. But you do have this port here also for firmware upgrades and so forth. Same characteristics as the original. Got the leather. Same uh, trim going all around. We have our battery compartment on the bottom. Same as the other ones. Simple pull up like that. Twist it off. And it is on the stiff side when you're twisting this off, unscrewing it or undoing it, however you want to phrase it. But it does have that silicone o-ring there to make sure everything is waterproof you can see in the inside it is marked positive positive in first negative here and looking at this focus in there steve come on could do a better job than that there we go you have right there obviously a negative but that's there's a membrane there you could see the two openings there god forbid something happens battery needs to vent it'll break this seal you'll be able to vent through these two holes right there and there's the bottom of the cap just some serial numbers and so forth 21 700s that's what fits inside here and obviously with the adapter you could use an 18 650 if you choose to please got the battery in we'll screw this down Alrighty. once it's down you just push that down like that everything is nice and flush I like this leather color that's on here got orange stitching like a maroon with orange stitching going on there one two three four five powers the device on you could see same display as the other ones you're gonna have your power wattage battery indicator coil amps voltage and puff counter now to get in the menu system here click the fire button three times one two three power up there turns white now you just use the up and down ones and you could scroll you have your bypass mode VPC mode, TC, TCR, or just in case people don't know, this is where you could do like your curves and stuff like that. TC, TCR, you have your titanium, stainless steel, and nickel for temp controls. And then you're back in power, hold the fire button down, see it turn black. Right now it's registered for power mode. 0.1 increments. If you're seeing little flashing and lines and stuff, that's the refresh rate. Nothing with the mod. It's just the refresh rate of the recording and you can see it goes up to 100 watts and we do have round robin feature now if i click the fire button again three times one two three and i click it again you can see right there i could set the resistance click it right there i could reset the puff counter there you go so you reset the puff counter and then go back to power keep it pressed and there you have it up and down buttons keep them pressed at the same time and you can see it there's a little lock right there do it again and now it should be unlocked and here you have all the single battery aegis mods that have come out in the past this one here was the 26650 version this is the one i threw from my second floor you can see the damage that was done 
Yep, this is the original review version. Still have it. This is the single 18650 version. This one here is that built-in battery version. And the new one, the 21700 version. And one more thing to show you guys, when it comes to height, the new version, the 21700, is the tallest of them all. And there you go. That was the Aegis Max kit by Geek Vape. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close, Aegis Max by Geek Vape. Mike, your thoughts on this one? Pros and cons, we'll start off with cons. Ain't really ain't too many cons with this. Yeah, the only thing I could really think of as a con on here, to some people it's not going to be a con, obviously. Type-C. I would have liked to have seen a Type-C port on here. I know there's people out there, Mike, you're always with a Type-C. We're getting sick of hearing it. I don't know. Whatever. Type-C. That's the way I think it should have been. So anyway, I'm going to have to give that a con. That said, I would have liked to have seen maybe the display to have been a... Uh, I, I don't mind this layout. Do not mind that layout. Maybe a colored display on there. I'm nitpicking. I'm trying to find stuff to complain about here. This is a pretty... They did a pretty good job with this mod. It's a 21700. Big pro. Then you have the people. But I don't like 21700s. Use the adapter. You could also use an 18650 in here. It's going to have to be a pro. Not only is it a 21700 device. The device goes up to 100 watts. It's going to have to be a pro. I know people are going to ask. 18650, Mike. Does it reduce the wattage? No. I've tried it with an 18650, and it goes up to 100 watts. Will you get that full 100 watts with an 18650? Maybe the first 10 hits. As the, then as the battery declines, you ain't going to get that full 100 watts. It's going to start throttling down, obviously. IP67 rated, dustproof, shockproof, waterproof, and so forth. You guys know the deal with this. It goes in the water, impact, and everything. Yeah, it's going to have to be a pro. Build quality. The device feels great. Feels nice in the hand. No rattling or nothing like that. Nothing feels loose or anything. Charging method over here on the side. I like that they put it there. Yes, I know they also did that with the single 18650 version. Yes, but the original was up here. So I like that it's over here. On this one here, it's going to have to be a pro. Fire button feels nice. Nice and clicky. Up and down buttons. Fires right away. It's a nice mod. They, I think they did a good job. Look, it's one of the most popular mods in the world, the Aegis line. And we've been saying for a while now, make a 21700 version. Took them a long time, and they finally did it. They finally gave the peoples, the peeps, a 21700 Aegis, 100 watt. So all in all, beautiful job, Geek Vape. You guys are probably going to sell a lot of these. Yeah, it's a nice mod. It's a nice compact mod, and I really don't hear a lot of issues from the community with these Aegis mods. Everyone seems to love their Aegis mods. So, yeah, this one's probably going to do good. That's it. I think I pretty much covered everything in this video. In the description below, no links to these. Focus, Steve. Not allowed. It's a YouTube policy. Just my links, advocacy links down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.